BRP t a l a k i t a l y s h i p a p p e r c l a s s the Philippine Navy Landing Platform Docks. It was formally welcomed in ceremony on May 16, 2016, and was commissioned into service with the Philippine Navy on June 1, 2016. BRP t a l a k and BRP d a v a o del Sur are the Philippine Navy's largest strategic amphibious ships. Which are built by the Indonesian, according to the orders of the Philippine Navy. BRP Talak is the second ship to be named after the Philippine province of Talak, one of the provinces considered to have significant involvement in the Philippine Revolution of Independence against Spain. The presence of BRP Talak will significantly enhance shipping capacity. Meeting a variety of sea-based transport and logistics needs, including humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions, as well as a command and control ship in bigger operations. In addition, BRP t a l a k will officially become the largest Philippines Navy warship, defeating the pair of warships BRP Gregorio del Pilar and BRP Ramon Ancaras. Quite unfortunate for this new ship, on September 19, 2016, just a short time after transfer to the Philippines, the vessel has suffered minor damage after a collision with a tanker. The BRP t a l a k was anchored at the naval station Romula e x p a n d o n of Mindanao, was rammed by a Liberian tanker. Philippine naval officials said that although none of the crew members were hurt, The vessel sustained minor damage in the right forward bulwark and the side ram. Philippine media said that repairs would take place as part of the ship's usual cycle, and that the ship could continue to perform its current task without trouble. The BRP t a l a k s design is closely based on the m a r k a s h a r class of landing platform dock used by the Indonesian Navy. The two t a l a k s class ships are the result of a $92 million contract signed by the Philippine government with PT p a r in June 2014. These are also the first naval vessels exported by Indonesia. The t a l a k has a total length of 123 meters, width of 21.8 meters, and a draft of 6 meters. The length between perpendiculars will be 107.5 meters. The standard displacement to the vessel is 7,200 tons, and the forward displacement is 11,583 tons, respectively. The RP t a l a k has the combined diesel and t l g r layout, and will be using similar engines as those used by their Indonesian counterparts, the Man 9L2832A medium-speed engines. The use of combined diesel and diesel engines gives the engine a better specific fuel consumption, at maximum output, and has the advantage of weight and size compared to using a single diesel engine. Combined power from the two engines will produce 7,830 brake horsepower. Transferred to two controllable pitch propellers, the ship will have a maximum range of 9,360 nautical miles. An endurance of 30 days and a top speed of 16 knots. The ship was designed with a helicopter fly deck at the rear of the stern, allowing two medium helicopters at the same time. There is also a hangar facility for a single t e n t o n s class helicopter, in line with the ship's heli deck design capacity. It is very likely that the Philippine Navy will equip the BRP t a l a k with two AW109 power naval helicopters that they have just put into use. The vehicle deck of the ship can house four tanks and four trucks and two light armor vehicles, while the well deck can accommodate two landing craft utility or landing craft vehicle personnel. The vessel can also carry two r e s i t h a l l inflatable boats on d a v i s The t a l a k has a crew of 120 sailors. She has a capacity up to 500 marines and their equipment. The main armament equipped this 76mm cannon on the f r o r e deck. 
The vessel is also being installed with two stern facing 25mm secondary naval guns, one each on the port and starboard sides. The vessel is inaugurated a navigation radar, a surface and air search radar, and an electro optical fire control system for main gun system. The communication seals will include integrated communications control system and Harris radio systems. This system is in service with more than 130 warships worldwide. The communication seals will be interfaced with other communication subsystems to support the vessel. The Black Hawk has been the template of the Philippine Navy for several reasons. Aside from that, the Philippine Navy is reportedly eyeing to acquire larger helicopters to be used on the Tyler class and all other future amphibious Sasson ship classes. For a ship of this size, the capacity is understandable and acceptable, but this also the current Tyler class is still small compared to foreign landing platform docks, particularly the People's Liberation Army Navy whose Type 071 which are almost double the size of the Philippines Navy Pride. It can be said that with BRP Talak and BRP Davao del Sur has completed the trial process and has been put into service with the Philippine Navy. It is clear that the naval power and mobility will be significantly increased. My video of BRP Talak ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.